afternoon good afternoon how are you fine sir fine sir did you have your lunch no sir ah, lunch we will train from at 1 o'clock okay standard lunch is taken at 1 o'clock before 1 o'clock if you take uh, melvin what it will be called what is it called if you take uh, lunch before 12 o'clock what it will be called breakfast brunch ah it is brunch 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 not lunch not breakfast so we are international not we you are international people isn't it prajot josi sir is not international josi sir is only national eh you people are international people am i right eh am i right and i am learning internationalism from you people you see i am a poor man of uh, this state poor malayali i am a poor malayali i am learning international standards from these people and if you don't teach me internationalism i will be in trouble that is why i told you, you should be very up naps you should be upright you should be good because i am learning from you how to sit how to attend hmm understand sania i learn from you how to sit how to attend everything so if you don't sit properly you are teaching me something wrong clear now clear now so you have great responsibility and you will be uh, appreciated you will be appreciated as teacher of josi sir do you want to become the teacher of josi sir then be an international student okay just a minute okay so let us come so your responsibility is very great in the last class we have seen i told you to put a tick did you put the tick there i am not talking about tick tock did you put a pencil tick in your on your page yes sir yes sir ah. yeah. what is the last one even what is deep in one's consciousness clear now am i right yes yes so sir. my memory is right isn't it okay deep consciousness in simple language here in his deep mind deep mind god sees what is in you god not only sees what is outside but also what is within you god knows what you think what god knows what you imagine you see even what is deep in one's consciousness here i read next sentence and i told i want some time to explain lenko was an ox of a man working like an animal in the fields can anyone is here my internationals eh uh -huh. 
is there anyone who can translate this sentence into one word let me see your intelligence here can you change this sentence into one word let me know your literature tell me tell me let it be wrong no problem no problem slave no ah, who said who said ashik patel eh ashik patel tell your mummy to get a uh, five rupees munch biscuit uh, munch chocolate okay yes, sir ah, tell mummy joseph sir told as a gift five rupees chocolate and don't ask me the money get money from mummy's pocket five rupees munch you see lenko was a slave lenko was a slave others understand that all people have might have heard mummy might have called you a donkey <laughs> mummy might have called you donkey ident or kaluda you might have called others a donkey pona kalude isn't it clear now that is why you did not understand the meaning ox ox here it is right lenko was a ox of a, no another of another man working day and night without any right without any rest without any rest so he was a slave but still he knew how to write a slave with with education he is not illiterate but he is uneducated what is the difference here again again question comes here i say lenko was an illiterate but he was not an uneducated sorry he was an uneducated fellow what is the meaning he did not go to school who is who is who is ah uh, who is speaking come on come on he is an illiterate he is an illiterate and uneducated ah uh, illiterate means he can read and write yes correct uneducated means again say uneducated not educated not educated. educated that i know if you add un yeah, it is it. not what is the difference between illiterate and uneducated he did not study he did not go to school ah oh, he did not go to school so you people are educated people uneducated means a person who did not get formal education schooling he is called uneducated illiterate means the person who does not know alphabet a b c d illiterate literacy kerala is 100% literacy state literacy one who knows to read and write literate means one who can read and write illiterate means one who cannot read and write just a minute so illiterate means one who can cannot read and write you cannot write your name you are illiterate but illiterate people are not educated ones are not without knowledge 
they are not the ignorant i will show you certain words now there is a pen just a minute so here uh, i was planning to make you some meanings difference i will show you you see we are going to see certain words which make a similar meaning but the difference of meaning in great depth great depth see here we have seen certain words literate you see literate it's opposite ill literate see then educated uneducated then another word ignorant sorry and right hmm and right ah you can note it in your book all these things yeah. whatever i do you copy it with a pencil in your textbook where you will write you will underline the word where but still he knew how to write that you will underline their explanation i am giving you sometimes you may be understanding the meaning of that uh, portion but i am going little far away you see literate means read and write read and write one who knows how to write his name and uh, read he, your name he is a literate person clear now and a person who cannot write, write and who cannot read is called illiterate here educated uneducated educated means one who got formal schooling formal schooling uneducated means one who did not get did not get formal schooling formal education schooling schooling clear these four words you make it clear now we are coming a new word we are coming to don't rub don't rub i am not rubbing i am not rubbing it i am not rubbing it now we are coming to the fifth word it is ignorant ignorant clear now before going to ignorant we are coming back to educated and uneducated let me ask a question 
if a man did not go to school suppose a man did not go to school he did not go for lkg he did not for go for ukg he did not even study class 1 clear now sir uh, whether he will have knowledge or not he will not have, not have. he will okay. not have okay i agree with you but let me ask another question you see i will go in such a way but we are in the textbook still he knew how to read isn't it from there we are going your grand grandfather suppose eva suppose your grand grandfather appa appan da appa appan yes sir ah uh, did you see him no no uh, you have not seen him but you know your appa appan has an appa appan isn't it eh mutta appa appan isn't it? grand grandfather this grand grandfather did not go to any school at that time in iringala kuda there were no school yes sir na and he did not go to any single school but he knows how to cook he knows how to do a job he knows when the rain comes when there are dark clouds in on the sky in the sky your grand grandfather would say within 10 minutes there will be a shower is it a knowledge <laughs> is it a knowledge kisan <coughs> sir it is just a sense no sir uh, it is it not is. a knowledge it is not a knowledge he knows how to cook <laughs> he know he knew how to cook was it not a knowledge a knowledge of cooking you are going to college and study how to cook your mummy did it not go to her home science college but she cooks sir it is a knowledge it is a knowledge here we have seen formal way of acquiring knowledge is education clear now but he has a lot of in uh, no uh, informal way of knowledge so we cannot say an uneducated person an ignorant person no ignorant means lack of knowledge lack of knowledge clear now ignorance means lack of a particular knowledge for example i am a teacher of english i am a teacher of english suppose you ask me about astronomy i may be zero i may be zero so i am ignorant in astronomy but i know many things clear now yes, clear now ignorance means lack of knowledge in a particular science particular topic that is what is called ignorant ignorant education means a particular uh, a formal way of learning things uneducation means who do not have formal way of schooling literate means one who can read and write if you can write your name prajod if you can write p r a j o t h prajod you are literate but you do not know how to write the name of your mamma that you do not know but still you are literate because you know the spelling p r a j o 
th you are literate if you do not know a b c d how many letters a b c d prajot how many alphabets a b c d 26 eh 26 ah 26 alphabets sir 26 26 your answer is correct but your mark is zero melvin how many alphabets uh, a b c d 26 ah 26 1 one one sir what you got one man 26 letters ah 26 okay i agree your answer is correct but not an answer to my question when i ask you questions when you when i ask you questions you have to be very careful very careful four ah uh, four i to ask you how many alphabets in a b c d a b c d <laughs> only four you have told alphabets in english 26 that is why your answer is correct but no mark my question how many alphabets in a b c d a b c d now only four so here i told prajod can write the spellings of his his name he is literate if he does not know how to read and how to write just sir you are muted sir you are muted lengo was an ox we are standing in one line one sentence for last 40 minutes half an hour we are with a one sentence we have not gone from there you see how much this is what is called a literature this is literature there is a depth in the meaning you have to understand how to read literature he was an ox he was a slave when there is slavery people are not sent for formal education clear now rohan do you understand a slave is not a, not sent for formal education if you want to read and write you have to go for formal education understand the meaning here is the meaning i am coming to the direct meaning here You see, once again, Lenko was a ox. Lenko was a ox. Ox means a slave. A slave is not permitted to go to schooling. He is not permitted. He is taken to do labor as a ox. Will the cow go to school? <laughs> will a cow go to school no sir no sir. in the same way a slave will not go to school so therefore no slave can read or write no slave can read or write but conjunction but that means something opposite but our lengo even though he is a slave he can read and write understood do you follow me yes sir yes sir okay the following sunday at daybreak in the morning he began to write a letter underline began to write a letter so when was the rain on which day saturday evening because the following day is sunday morning 
so rain was on saturday evening and monday mo sunday morning he took a paper he began to write a letter because he knew how to write though he was a slave he knew how to write therefore he himself began to write a letter not to his uncle not to the prime minister not to the chief minister not to the education minister not to the agriculture minister to god to swargam to paradise to heaven he began to write a letter oh my dear god you may write to your pets but he wrote to god my dear god you see began to write a letter which he himself would carry to town he wrote a letter to god and he took it and he himself went to the town carrying it and place in the mail you see have you seen letter box red color yes, letter ah. so there was a letter box in the town our lenko wrote a letter nirubama our lenko wrote a letter he folded it pasted it put into a cover he took it he went to the town and he put into the box letter box it was nothing less than a letter to god nothing it is nothing it was a letter to god god what is the content of the letter god he wrote if you don't help me my family and i will go hungry this year this is his complaint oh my god i know only you can help me if you don't help my family will go hungry this year it is a prayer of this internationals do you pray lenko is asking you shania lenko is asking you to pray this year not to go anywhere else to be on the board god says isn't it shania ah uh, ah uh, ah uh. here if i don't see you any day i will come over there so you see here this year lenko is reminding you to pray oh god you can only help me if you don't help me my 10th result will be a flop i know you can only help me not a josie sir you can only help me you see lenko says lenko says if you don't help me my family will go hungry this year oh god if you don't help me my result will be a failure please help me corona is all all around corona i cannot go to class i cannot see the teacher i cannot sit in the classroom how can i study my god you see do you think like this i cannot go to school how can i study all these things god only you can help me you see literature should be life related when you read the literature you have to connect it to your life when lenko is praying that only god can help him we are praying only god can help us only god can help us you see my family and i will go hungry this year 
I need a hundred pesos. I need hundred rupees. Pesos is currency. It's a currency. I need hundred pesos. Underline need hundred pesos. A hundred pesos for what purpose? In order to sow my field again, I want to purchase seeds. In order to sow, S O W sow. In order to purchase seeds and sow, and to live until the crops comes, because the hailstorm destroyed my crops. Dot, dot, dot is there because the hailstorm destroyed, you can write there, destroyed my crops. You see, what was the request of uh, Lenko? Give me 100 rupees, 100 pesos. 100 pesos. For what purpose? I want to purchase some seeds and I want to sow again. The balance money, I want to purchase food for my children till I get crops. Clear now? Two things. One needs to get seeds and sow again, number one. Number two, to give food, to purchase food and to give my children. He wrote to God on the envelope. On the top of the envelope, he wrote to God. That is address. To God. On the envelope, put the letter inside the letter box and still troubled went out. So you see, he wrote a letter. Inside, he wrote, I want 100 pesos because I want to get some more seeds and I want to sow it again. Number one, the balance money, I want to give food to my children till the next crops. He pasted the cover and over the cover, he wrote to God. Then he went to the town, put the letter into the letter box and he came back till he was troubled because he did not get the money. He was troubled. At the post office, he placed a stamp on the letter and dropped it into the mailbox. Mailbox means letter box. One of the employees, one of the staff who was a postman, and also helped at the post office, went to his boss, laughing heartily and showed the letter to, to the God. When Lengo went back from the post office, one postman went there and took that letter and he saw it is written to God and he made a laugh. He mocked at Lengo and he went to the postmaster, chief of the post office, and told, Sir, <laughs> Sir, did you see a letter? Eh, what happened? Sir, a letter to God. What shall we do? He was mocking at Lenko. He was mocking at Lenko. At the post office, he placed a stamp on the letter and dropped it into the mailbox. One of the employees who was a postman and also helped at the post office went to his boss. Boss means master. Laughing heartily and showed him the letter to God. Never in his career, never in his life as a postman had he known that address. He never knew the address of God. The postmaster, a fat, amiable, amiable means a lovable, amiable means a lovable, a friendly, 
friendly fellow also broke out laughing he also laughed but almost immediately he turned serious underline immediately he became serious he turned means he became serious and tapping the letter on his desk he tapped the letter on the desk and said and commented what faith underline what a faith it is what a faith it is a man keeping such a faith and sending a letter to god you may call god in your prayer but will you send a letter to god no sir itself you may write a letter to god oh my dear god send me your graces and make me give me 90% mark in my public exams and paste it and write to god and go and put it in the letter box will you do it or send an email to god ww hello oh, sorry uh, god in heaven at gmail.com you send it will you send we are not such a foolish people isn't it <laughs> god in heaven at gmail.com god's email address will you send you see a man who is sending a letter to god requesting help what a faith it is i wish i had the faith of the man who wrote this letter i wish i had that faith i don't have the faith i don't have such a faith i wish i have such a faith starting up a correspondence with god ho oh, writing a dialogue to god what a faith it is though the postmaster laughed at the letter in the next moment he began to think about it he began to think about it he became very serious and he thought if he had such a faith in him about in god it was a reflection seeing this letter reading this lesson studying this lesson did you increase your faith in god anthony did you increase your faith in god <laughs> sir i don't have faith but then how can i increase how many of you believe in god at least how many of you do pray to god raise your hand how many of you pray to god nobody oh only one one person is there without praying to god how can you pass this year you will fail uh, only sri hari only these three five people will pass in public exam okay uh, i know here in public exam all are afraid so started to pray eh uh, isn't it eh uh, here in public exam all are afraid so they began to pray okay thank you see seeing the faith of lenko seeing the faith of lenko ashik seeing the faith of lenko the post master began to think do you, do i have such a faith no my faith is weak i will develop my faith i will improve my faith i will have a strong faith in god if you have faith then only you will understand the next portion of the lesson so i make a pause you check your faith in god eh you check your faith in god if you have little faith increase your faith by today and come tomorrow if you don't have faith build up faith in god and come tomorrow then only you will understand the lesson so i am compelled to stop the lesson okay i am compelled to stop the lesson here so i stop i end the class have faith and come back emerin have faith and come back then i will take the class okay so i end the class thank you